one. That fairy is walking in the woods with evil fireballs. They're both hungry after walking all day. I don't know how the fairy can be so hungry. Man, I'm hungry. From the background, here comes the singing voice of Princess Marshmallow. Coming closer. Hey, it's my bestie, Princess Marshmallow. Hey, you for that hungry. Here comes something yummy and delicious, sweet and nutritious. Marshmallow jumps out of the woods. Hey, bestie buddy. Hey, yummy, er, Princess Marshmallow. Doesn't that marshmallow look yummy? Man, that's tempting. Give me a hug. Have you ever tasted marshmallow before? It's delicious, especially toasted. So the fat bear leans in and takes a bite. The princess marshmallow. start their journey to help that fairy lose weight. Ooh. Princess Marshmallow and Fat Fairy are walking in the woods to see Goomer. Goomer, hey, it's me, Princess Marshmallow, with my bestie buddy, Bertha. Hey there, y'all. Hey, I was wondering if you had a way to help Bertha lose weight. Well, don't drink that pond scum. And you can help me finish building this dam here and work off the weight. Okay, I can do that. So the fat fairy starts helping Goomer with his dam, while Princess Marshmallow sits on the ground and watches fat fairy and Goomer work. When the fairy sees a fish in the pond, and jumps in and eats it. What are you doing, fat fairy? Sorry, Goomer. I was so hungry from working and I saw a fish and jumped in to get it. Get out of here, you fat fairy. I could have helped you, but not, but not no more. The fat fairy and Princess Marshmallow run away while fairy is crying. <laughs> hey. Fat fairy and Princess Marshmallow run into evil fireball and rot the man. Hey there, cry baby. <laughs> what, what, what are you pounding for? I'm so fat. I was helping Goober build his dam, and I got hungry and seen a fish. And I jumped in to get it and dried up his pond. Oh, suck it up, you babies. Hey, don't be mean. Oh, come on. You're always going to be fat. Ha, 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 ha. Fat fairy gets really mad and cries out and in and eats him all up. <laughs> Falls to the floor. 
Oh man, my floor! I'm really sorry, Jelly. <laughs> wow. Maybe you should go to my friend Lazy Bear. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Scene five. So the Princess Marshmallow and the Fat Bear are walking through the woods again to find Lazy Bear's house. When Princess Marshmallow hears a yawn. Hey, I think that's him. So the Princess Marshmallow and the Fat Fairy start running. Oh look, I think that's him. Yeah, it is. We made it. Lazy Bear hears Princess Marshmallow and Fat Fairy and starts to wake up, coming out of his house. Who goes there? We, we do. do. Who's we? It's me, Princess Marshmallow, with my bestie bud, Bertha. Who's Princess Marshmallow and Bertha? Jelly sent us. Why did she send you? So that you could help my bestie bud lose weight. Yeah, help me. I can't help you lose weight. I'm a lazy bear. I don't do anything but sleep in my cave all day. Then how are you supposed to help her? Well, all I got to say is that you should be happy who you are and not try to change that. I shouldn't? No, you are beautiful on the inside and that's what matters. But I want to be beautiful on the outside, like my bestie Princess Marshmallow. I love you, even if you're not pretty on the outside. You do? I do. Uh. See, you have good friends, just be who you are. Thank you, Lazy Bear, for helping us. You're welcome. Now I'm going back to sleep. So the Princess Marshmallow and Fat Fairy stayed bestie buds, and the fairy learned to love herself for who she is and didn't want to change herself again.